What's up, YouTube family? It's India Sean back with yet another episode of Wellness Wednesday. So we're four episodes in, and I feel like it's only right that we get a little bit more personal and dig a little bit deeper. So right around the corner is Mental Health Awareness Month, and so I wanna dedicate this Wellness Wednesday to the woman who keeps me sane, <laughs> my therapist and all the therapists around the globe who are working hard at keeping people lifted and sane and more self-aware and healthy and all that jazz. So shout out to you guys. Y'all are the real MVPs. My first experience with counseling was actually in college. They offered free services and I definitely took advantage of it and, and loved it then. And then I, after graduating, I didn't think that I would be able to afford it because I didn't have health insurance and, and all that stuff. But I'm telling you guys, there are a ton of resources out there and organizations and programs that offer counseling at low rates or sometimes for free. And I'm going to list those below in the description. So please check those out if you are interested in counseling services. I have been going to therapy consistently for about five months now and I see my therapist every Friday, so once a week, and it's honestly like my favorite day of the week <laughs> um, because I just get to recap all of the emotions, spill all my tea. But it's really great to get insight and an unbiased perspective from a licensed professional. Um, and I have amazing friends and family. My mom is actually a counselor herself and it's great to talk to them, but there is something about talking to, once again, someone who can provide an unbiased perspective. It's been really great for me, especially at this juncture in my life and career with everything that's obviously happening in the world, but also in my personal life with my career unfolding and um, just feeling new pressures and some self-imposed expectations and um, dealing with my own issues, basically, and having to live that out now publicly as someone who's chosen a career in the entertainment industry. So it's been good, it's been good for me. And I know there have been a lot of taboos around counseling and therapy services. I feel like it's a little bit more accepted these days and people are definitely talking about mental health um, more than they used to. I know that um, in certain communities, it still is kind of taboo. So I wanna give you guys the three tips to consider before starting therapy. Number one. You definitely want to find your match. Find a good fit for you. It's almost like dating. I Googled a particular facility and I was paired with a man and I thought that would kind of be cool to get a male perspective, but um, we just didn't have enough in common. It didn't make sense and I didn't really feel like there was a connection. Um, <laughs> so I had to kindly you know, let him know that I was gonna um, look for someone who kind of fit me a little bit better. And I went on psychology today and found a therapist in my area. She's literally a couple miles away from me. And um, I was able to read her profile, read her background. They provide a little video bio and you can just fill them out before actually going to meet them. And that worked out for me. I found an incredible therapist who really fits well with me. Number two, you want to walk into your therapy session with full transparency. It's like going to be seen at the doctor's office. You know, they have you fill out a chart and you have to be honest about your medical history so that you can be treated correctly. And it's the same thing with therapy. So, you know, if you're gonna pay the money or, or spend the time and energy, definitely be willing to open up and share and tell the truth. <laughs> Number three, you have to be willing to do the work. My therapist sometimes sends me home with documents to read. Um, uh, she'll send me home with a book list and I'm not gonna lie, I still have yet to read, but <laughs> it's on my to-do list. Um, or just exercises to practice 
and you have to do the work if you want to get something out of it you know otherwise you're just showing up and, and talking every week which could be helpful too but you definitely want to put those tools to practice and use to see some real growth and progress within yourself so those are my three tips just to get you started once again i highly highly recommend therapy to everyone and um, there are so many organizations and programs that offer free or discounted therapy services I totally recommend psychologytoday.com, but I will list a couple of different organizations below in the description. Remember, Mental Health Awareness Month is just a couple weeks away. So be kind to yourself. Um, take time for yourself. Do what you need to do for yourself. And I'm gonna take my own advice as well. <laughs> you guys take care and be well. See you next Wednesday.